Hi guys, it's Mel and SJ. Welcome back to our new YouTube video. So this video is the most requested video that you guys wished for and we're going to do our Q&A. Finally, we decided to answer all your questions. If you are interested in us and want to get to know us, then this is the right video for you. <laughs> so the first question is obviously the most wanted question, which is how did we meet? Oof, uh, long story short, it was about like 3 a.m. I was just scrolling down through TikTok, you know, uh, after gym. And uh, I saw a beautiful girl, which is wow. found her. And I was like, damn, she's pretty. On TikTok? So, yeah, on TikTok. I messaged. Hi, or is it hey or hi? Yeah, it was something like just hi without any emojis, without yeah, just anything. like dry yeah. hey or hi. She obviously had a lot of followers, so I was like, oh, you know what? She's popular. I don't think she's gonna text me back, so I just delete the message. But she can still see it. Yeah, I still got the notification, and I checked my DMs, and then I saw him, and then I saw your profile, but he was. On private like his account was private I only saw Canadian and Korean flag and I was curious about this person I said hi back and she thought I was a fuckboy yeah I thought you were like a player the most guys I knew they were like just you know playing with my feelings we decided to text literally every day and then we got like very close to each other somehow we caught feelings for each other but we didn't decide to be a couple yet and the funny thing is on 1st November, which is our anniversary day my boyfriend <laughs> asked me to be his girlfriend on FaceTime FaceTime and I said yes, I wanna marry you no, I'm just kidding, I wanna be his girlfriend so yeah then we got a couple, official couple. And now we're here. And now we're here after dating for almost four years. We we're still together. We've been through ups and downs, but it's okay. That's normal. Anyways, next question. So the next question is how do we afford to go to each other's place like almost every year? I mean, obviously we have to work to we, get money. We work and um, yeah, I think that's, that's basically the thing. It. Like uh, we cannot get money from the and, trees. <laughs> yeah, but we work really hard to see each other. We save up a lot of money, so that's basically how we do it. Yes. So the next question is, uh, what was our first impression when we saw each other for the first time? For the first time. Um, well, I was at the airport waiting and I was like so nervous because I've never seen you in real life. Um, but I was really surprised, I would say. I didn't really know how to react because actually I've never, I've never had a boyfriend, you know, and I was super shy. What about my height? <laughs> Back then, well. Back ooh! then? You were still taller than me, but obviously, um, like, I thought because you always told me you were more taller than you actually are, but that's the sad <laughs> Height doesn't matter. <clears throat> that's what you said. Anyways, what's your first impression? Um, so, obviously, I was shaking, you know, my hands were like this. And when I saw her, I was like, get that she's hella. Oh, really? Yeah. Next question. Okay, next question is what are habits that we picked up from the other person? So for me, definitely um, the, the word or impression, Aish. I don't know, you say that literally every time and it's a Korean term for if you hurt yourself, if you drop something, if you're scared or something, you, you, you just say Aish. And I, it's easier to say. It's yeah, I literally say that every time since I met him. In general, I use more Korean words that you're using as well. Since I met her, I, I do the skincare mostly often. Because I've been into skincare and all that stuff for many years. 
and I take care of my skin. I know that I need to use specific products that work for my skin. And before, he didn't even care about his skin. He just washed his face with no water. And she forced me. And that's why I, got <laughs> I didn't habits. force you. Oh, she forced me. <laughs> and your skin got way better after he met me. Hey, like we have to take care <laughs> about this one, but still. Next question. What do our parents think about our relationship? Well, my parents didn't really care, you know. It's like because I'm more like independent, so like they're like, oh, you do you, I do me. That's it. My parents are pretty strict when it comes to people that I meet online. It's always been like this. I was pretty nervous talking about my long distance relationship. Somehow I decided to tell them. They kind of reacted normal on it and i was old enough to know what's good and who i can trust and you know so then i decided to show my parents that i'm talking with a real person and that my boyfriend is actually super lovely and kind and um, they were both on facetime and yeah that's how they trust me and that's how they trust you but don't be shy if you meet someone in person obviously always be careful but um, tell your parents about this person and introduce them, obviously, even though you're in long distance. That's very important. Next question. Now we're talking about our height and age. So <laughs> We're pretty old, pushing 30. No, <laughs> we look very young, right? I mean, that's the Asian genes, obviously, but <laughs> we are 22, both. But Sunjin is turning 23 in a few days. Yes. And our height? I'm 190 and she's 170. <laughs> I'm 170 and you're 175 centimeters. That's our real height. Yes. Next question. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. Can we give any advices for relationships or just in general long distance relationships? Throughout our whole long distance journey, we had a lot of difficult days. It's not easy, especially for us because we're both people who need physical touch. We set three big rules, which are trust, no lie, slash no cheating and stay sweet. Also to keep ourselves updated on our life, if we cannot call or text each other, we try to send a message. Okay, babe, I did this today. I went to this place and how do you feel? What are you doing? Um, anything like that. So the best advice for you guys is to text each other, FaceTime if you guys can and Every day that's passing by is a day to get closer to each other again. And also don't forget to plan yourself when to meet. Yes, that's important. That's very important. So do we have any pet peeves about each other? Mm. Do you? <laughs> I think I know. What, what is it? My beer. <laughs> We even talked about it today, we even, we even had a, a little argument about it today because I don't like when someone has a beard, I don't know, it just also it doesn't suit you. I don't know, it's my dream to have a beard and style it. I don't want you to have a beard, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, yeah I think that's what I don't like. Especially here, this type of beard guys, no. Yes, the annoying part about you is when you wake me up early in the morning because like you know i had to i like i had to work all day i had to go to school i had to study i had to, you know I was, i'm too tired and then like and then the next day at what 8 a.m 9 a.m okay for me that's really early okay I, like i want to sleep until noon but the thing is she always wakes me up and then Babe, I made you food! <laughs> Babe, wake up, wake up! Okay, okay, okay! <laughs> next question. The next question is, what are our future plans? For example, about marriage or children? Kids. When do we get married? Um, I don't know, when we financially ready? That's when we're gonna marry? 
and having kids too when we financially ready you know i don't want to i don't want our babies to suffer when we don't have money you know? <laughs> then i'm gonna suffer <laughs> you just want to settle down first you don't rush you know? yeah no rush at all and we're so young so yeah and right now i'm not ready for a child <laughs> I wanna, I wanna experience a lot of things. I wanna travel a lot. I cannot do that when I have children. So and also, we want to have two children. One girl and one boy. Yes. And plans in general, uh, I think our biggest plan is to finally move in together forever. Our plan is to stay in Canada, but we have some other plans in mind at the moment. Could be out of Canada. Could be in Europe. Could be in Asia. You know. Say Dubai. Dubai. If you have, if your job has good opportunities there, then it's probably too bad. Next question. What? <laughs> this is the last question. Um, I'm really curious, though, Mel Oni. I haven't heard you speak Tagalog. Can I hear a mahal ko kayo? Mahal ko kayo. Mahal ko kayo. The thing is. Even though I'm half Filipina, I don't, unfortunately, I don't know how to speak Tagalog. Uh, my mom never learned me the language, but I can speak German, uh, English, now a little Korean, and yeah, that's it. I speak Korean, I speak French, and English. Voila! So, thank you guys for all the questions. Subscribe our channel. And follow us on our Instagram, whatever, TikTok, whatever, you know. Our social media. Social media and no. um, yeah. We love you all. Mahai ko kayo. Kayo. Sarange. Sarange. Je vous aime. Ich liebe euch. <laughs> Every language. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for watching. <laughs> This was Mel and SJ. Bye bye. bye.